1985, first Christian rap tape in the USA. I'm looking at the guys that I listen to, Soup, Peace, P.I.D., Dynamic Twins. Those were the pioneers for us. Brother, sister, 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 brother, blind to the fact you can't see. There were kids doing it in church, around church. Christian music industry was not ready for hip hop. When you say you love me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> now that's going back right there, man. Yes. Trustees got into a fist fight at one church because they thought bringing the world into the church. We came from the neighborhood, from the Crip and the Blood area. Too secular for the Christian label. Yes. Is a track where I like to express all the love that I have. It was a battle for us, man. I couldn't get Christian radio played. It was too hood. They sacrificed a lot. They made it easy for guys like Lecrae. Take this mind, mind, mind. 80s, 90s, we were really dealing with some racial issues in the church. Everybody wanted hip hop, but they were paying for the rap. You dig what I'm saying? Sue was the man. Then let me tell you, Sue the gang. From executive producer Michael Anthony Taylor. I've always been a fan of hip hop. The wide audience was by that record. The industry wasn't ready for it. Directed by Darius West. One of the things that needs to happen for the future of Christian hip hop is real unity. Mic drop. The culture of Christian hip hop. <laughs> 